Now I know what you guys are thinking. Oh snap! Two days in a row, back to back KOF videos. What is going on? Well, it's simple, man. I uploaded a video yesterday and a lot of you guys messaged me on Discord and told me, man, broski, we missed the KOF content. You got to bring it back to the channel on a more consistent basis. We need that daily dose of King of Fighters alongside Marvel Future Fight. So hear me out, man. If you guys want me to try my best to upload daily for KOF, man, when you watch one of the videos, just smash the like button, man. Let me know you actually like the content. And yeah, I'll try my best to keep it coming, right? Because I do read the comments. I do look at the videos and see how they perform. But more than anything else, I care about like whether you guys like or dislike the video. And if you dislike the video, that's fine. It tells me that I did something wrong or something that you didn't like. <laughs> if either way, it's, it's just an interaction that I like to see. All right, so if you guys want me to drop more KOF content, go ahead and uh, hit the like button or the dislike button, whatever tickles your fancy, because it does tickle mine. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. After the video I made yesterday, where we're talking about um, the world event that's going on right now. If you haven't started this thing, what are you doing? Get on it, okay? Yeah, so make sure you're doing this event because you can get a couple fest characters for free as well as their battle cards this saves you thousands of rubies right thousands of rubies so make sure you're on that additionally right there's a super mission going on over here right there's actually three of them and you guys been hitting me up about one in particular because you actually get to pick a all-star fighter from a very very good lineup right so that's what we're going to be talking about today. As you can see, I've been doing them and not collecting my stuff, but it's fine, right? What's most important is the day one reward. This thing right here, the All-Star Fighter Selector. And as you can see, they, they waffle crazy, okay? And they got a lot of waffles in here. And uh, yeah, a lot of them are actually really good. Now, it's been a while since I've seen a couple of these characters, so some of them, like the Halloween characters, I completely forget what they offer. So we're gonna go over them briefly, not too long. It's not gonna be an in-depth review or anything like that to tell you guys what I like and what I don't like about the characters and which ones I'm gonna be picking up. So first and foremost, we have Halloween Cooler. Probably the best cooler in the game, ladies and gentlemen. So if you like her for more than just how she looks, you should probably pick her up if you didn't have already. Even though her skill set doesn't offer that much, the freeze is nice. But right here, her cores is what I like about the character. And she's on my list of like high priority characters that I want. So when she gets hit, at level 3, so once you max out our core board, basically, there's a 50% chance for her to freeze the enemy for one second. And this is on a 12 second cooldown. This effect, this passive, makes it so that even now, months into the game on global, right? She's still being used in PvP, even though she doesn't have super armor, hyper armor, none of the meta qualities, right? This is actually very, very good. Especially considering the fact that as soon as they get frozen, your damage goes up by 25%. You can see right here, Festival Made increases active skill damage dealt to frozen enemies by 25%. That's really good. That's a really good one-two punch or a really good counter, if you will. So they get off an attack on you, they get frozen, then you do 25% more damage to them. Beautiful. Definitely a character that is worth having. Then we have... The Halloween Party Angel. I think I have the best angel in the game right now. Not this one. This one is okay, but I could live without her. The poison is nice, but overall, I think this is an easy miss for me. The poison, again, is nice. The crit rate buff is nice, but the other angel is better in my opinion. So that's an easy pass for me. Mature, I like mature, but I think the green mature is probably still the best mature in the game. This one is okay, 
but again i'm not really seeing nothing here stun duration no that's 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 a no for me cores again this is nice okay but this is only 2.4 percent that's that's not good the, the heal is okay but again the green mature is in my opinion superior the bleed is just beautiful it's immaculate it's perfect all right then we have Shermie. now this is basically one for the guys who really like Shermie and they just want to close out their collection because this Shermie right here it's it's a no for me okay she's a grappler which is good she allows you to heal your teammates that's good but again this is an easy pass like orochi shermi just way better and the purple shermi is good enough and you can get her from pretty much every banner so i would say skip this shermi unless you have like every other character in here and that's your only option then it's not really an option is it <laughs> all right anyways Yuri, this is an easy skip for me like no the chill damage is okay the ability to heal your team is okay but this one is a skip for me and i'm going to show you guys why in a second her cores are not that bad the attack buff is nice the decrease to damage is nice but this is a pass for me um this is an instant pass for me even though he has a really good um link that um if I remember correctly, it gives you more gold. Which one is it? I'm pretty sure I'm passing it. Right here. All right. Oh no, that's the XP one. There's one for gold, this one, All right? And I'm pretty sure everybody who was playing at the time, we have this. So this this is pretty much the only reason to get this this version of Chang, the gold buff, All right? That That's pretty much it, I'm sorry. So I would skip over him. Right, I'm not really seeing anything great here. The stun is nice. The decrease to the defense is okay. Right, his cores. Let's take a look at them. Um, no. Okay, that's that's a no. Easy skip. Leona. This is a skip as well. Orochi Leona is superior. This one right here, just a little bit better than the base Leona. Right, the one that came out on the roulette couple weeks ago no okay the crit rate is nice again the HP that's okay I guess but like no easy skip whip is actually not bad but I'm gonna tell you guys to skip her okay the leadership is nice let, let me let me say that the leadership is nice but I'm gonna say skip her just just skip her you have better options in here unless again you don't have any of the better options Unless you already have all the better options, uh, I should say. Like, the poison is nice. The decrease of people's defense is whatever. Like, not whatever. It's good, right? Because it allows you to do more damage. But I, I would skip whip. I would definitely skip the New Year geese unless you're a fan of geese, okay? I'm a fan of geese. I have this geese. He's all right. But I think you can live without him. Unless you're just a super fan. Andy, I would skip over Andy as well. The 98 Andy bleed god definitely in my opinion superior to this one okay moving on this my is actually not bad like again this my is not bad but i'm gonna tell you guys to skip over her okay j j just just skip over her just, just I i'm gonna say that i'm sad it's sad to say it because i like my but Bro, what's all this? What, what What's all this, bro? What's all this? Okay, I can't even tell it's mine. No, okay? I would skip over Vice. Honestly, I'm not even going to waste any time on Vice, bro. Pass. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Anyways, I would skip over um King as well. Sorry. Not that useful. I would definitely skip over Katsumi as well. I think the other one is better. I think, is it the green one? Yes, I think it's the green one. Um, Blue Mary is bad. Skip. Eerie, skip. <laughs> okay. Anyways, however, this is where we get into um, some really good characters for me. And I can speak from personal experience to at least two of them in this role right here. She's a beast. She's a freaking beast. Okay. She's a beast. Leadership is very good as well. Like, this is the role that you want to choose from. I'm telling you. Like, if you don't have this, Yuri get her she looks goofy in this bunny suit but she slays i kid you not ladies and gentlemen 
I put it on my neck. Okay, she's actually a beast. She hits really hard. She's actually pretty tanky, and man, she gets she gets busy with it. If you guys want to see gameplay to back that up, let me know. I have her at 90. Okay, Athena is good too. Plus, she has a good leadership. Right, very very good character. Don't skip over her. This is where it gets tricky for me, cause I really really want this Vanessa. But I also kind of want the cooler because I've been missing her for so long. But I think this is the character I'm gonna choose. Real shit. Like, I like Vanessa a lot. She has super armor. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look, look at her, man. She's just a waffle queen. She's literally sitting on the throne saying, Worship me, goddammit. <laughs> Bring me to your roster. Anyway, she's actually really, really good, right? So, this is the character that I'm gonna choose. This, my. This Mai is actually really, really useful. So, look at her leadership. Increases all fighters' attack by 15% and decreases burn damage received by 15. This goes up once you get it to 6 stars. If you're struggling to get through the Epic Quest, Episode 1, she's actually going to be really useful to you because of her um, cores. So, let me go down here and show you guys. So, you can see right here. Decreases burn received by 95% when HP is 30% or lower. That's very important for the Epic Quest. The first chapter, that's very, very useful. So don't sleep on the effects of that, okay? So that's mainly the only reason to get this Mai. I wish I had her and I kind of want her so I can showcase just how useful she is on that stage. But by now, you guys probably farmed up enough buffs to get through it without needing her. But she's actually pretty good. I think Nessa... Like, honestly, the bottom bottom row here is actually where it's at, to be honest. Nessa is really good. This Swimshoot Angel is really good. This K is actually very good as well. I don't have Billy, so I can't really speak to her, her value, but the leadership is okay. Like, it's situational, so you know how them one works, right? I, I would say skip over Billy, unless you already have, like, priority. I'm going to give to Yuri. I'm going to give to Athena, Vanessa. And I want to say Swimsuit K, Swimsuit Angel. Lady Yashiro is kind of like, okay. Leadership is solid. And man, the shock damage is nice. I'm not going to even lie. The shock damage is nice. Especially considering we just had um, a dungeon for, what's her face again? Chizuru. And shock damage put in work there. But like, for real, I, think, I don't think you should be picking her over like none of these characters. K. Angel, Nessa, Athena, and Yuri. Those are the top five, in my opinion. Right? Cooler is good. Don't get it twisted. This cooler is good. You can see the leadership. That, that's solid. Right? But I think the other cooler is a little bit better just because, again, you can use that cooler in PvP. And when you start getting your face pounded in, you're just going to be able to constantly crowd control them without doing anything. So that's something for you to keep in mind. Like I think this bottom row here, the bottom two row and one character, that, that's where it's at. Like if you don't have these characters unlocked, those are the ones you should be choosing. All right. So we're going to wrap up here. Just wanted to give you guys a real quick video, let you know where I'm at. I'm probably going to go with Vanessa. Not even going to lie. Like I really want Kula, but I think I'll wait until the Halloween banner comes back around. I like, guess whenever that happens, right? And I'm going to go with Vanessa. And then we'll just max out Vanessa and just punch some people in the face. Because I still do not have a copy of Vanessa at all. Uh, and not even this one. Because I'm not summoning on this banner. I'm saving my rubies. Because I'm hoping that Nameless is the next character that gets released, okay? That's all I'm saying. The next fest character, anyways. Who's it gonna be? Let's wrap this thing up. Ah, sad life. Can we get it to pop, though? Okay. I was gonna say, let's wrap this thing up with style. But at least it was Joey and not Betty Maru. Tomato, tomato. It's the same thing, anyways. <laughs> so, anyways, man, I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, you know what to do, man. Hit the dislike button two times. I said two times. God damn it. <laughs> uh,
Oh, man. Stay safe, man. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Peace.